everybody. This is Sherry with Craft, Pray, Repeat. And I'm here today with a Valentine's for Everyday collab hosted by Janet from Sugar Shine Designs. We will be featuring some Cottage Cuts dies. And what you need to do is watch all three videos in the collab. And I'll leave the lineup below in the description box for you. And then Janet will be giving away on her channel a cottage cuts die the deadline to comment is friday march 1st at midnight eastern time and then the winner the winning video will be posted on saturday march 2nd on janet's channel sugar shine designs and again it will all be linked in the description box for you so i'm going to start by showing you uh very quickly some of the dies that i used I started with this one right here. It's called Heartbeats, and I use this piece right here. This is from her Valentine, her new Valentine's release, and it's called Puppy Love Letters. Then this one is an older retired die, and it's called Sweet Daisies with Birds, and I used the little pail here. Again, a new one from the collection. Or from her collection this year and it's be my valentine puppies and so i used the little puppies in this one i used cup of love to make that cup right there i used mr peter rabbit so that i could get the bunny eggs and i also used sweetheart doilies which I believe she still has I'm not sure but this was part of her, one of her Valentine's releases from a long time ago and then I also used the bookmarks so let me scoot those over and I'm going to start by showing you a couple three by three cards that I made I absolutely love how they turned out all of the papers that I show uh, in this video were printed from the Knitwick Collections uh, Heartstrings is what it's called and I will do my best to remember to link it and here are the two little puppies and what I love about these digital collections is that I could print them any size I wanted so I printed these little pieces here at two and three quarter inches to go with my three inch card so I was really happy with that and then the bonjour is from the scrappy mom's amusing animal stamp set I have had those forever so I'm not sure if she if they're still available I will try to find out for you I use memento sweet plum ink for the color because I thought that it matched the paper really well. And then I printed out several little two inch squares. And that's how I was able to get such a tiny print for the little collar and the bows on the doggies. And then I just made two matching envelopes. Again, using the paper collection from Knitwits. So that's my first project. For my next project, I used the puppy dog from the new Valentine's release. I used the pail here to make it like an Easter basket or an Easter bucket. And here's where the little eggs come in. And again, this is where the two inch squares that I printed out were perfect because it made all of the the prints super super tiny so the flowers are nice and small and you can see them all on the eggs this is the sweetheart doily here and i just printed when i printed it out i used white as my collar and did happy easter on it again the a different designer paper in the background but they all coordinate which is perfect for someone like me who's colorblind and couldn't match you know her socks if she wanted to so <laughs> this works out great it's just an a2 size card four and a quarter by five and a half and i cut this piece down to four by five and a quarter i inked everything up used my white uh, gel pen 
for the little accents on the dog. My black glaze pens from Sakura for the little eyes. Super cute. He can hold anything. If you want to get a die that's versatile, and I think that that's kind of what Janet is trying to show you, that, you know, just because you get this for Valentine's Day doesn't mean that it has to necessarily be used for Valentine's Day. You know, here he is holding an Easter basket. He can hold an American flag or fireworks for the 4th of July. He could hold Christmas ornaments at Christmas time. You know, there's just all kinds of things that you can do with these dies. You just gotta, gotta use your imagination, but the sky's the limit. Love it. Love it when I can use my dies for more than just one thing. And so this is my second project, and I'll be right back with my last. All right, everybody, I'm back with my last project, and I forgot to show one die that I did use, and it is this Sizzix die right here, and it is a Caitlin Lazardi die, and it is called Pocket Traveler's Notebook, and I also use the Thinlets uh, on the inside. Again, I used the Knitwick Collection, and here's where I use the Cup of Love. And I, I'm going to zoom you in here just a little tighter so you can see what the cup says. But I wanted to make it so that it could be an everyday thing. And so I printed the paper at two and a quarter inches, which made it big enough to fit the cup. And then I just printed it out with, don't worry, be frappy now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. I love that song and I thought it was so cute and I was like... This is great. So it's just a little design on the outside. This again is the Knitwick collection. All of this so everything coordinates. The only thing that wasn't printed from the Knitwick collections is the Cool Whip on the top. And I used my Pam Pastels to put the lines in it to get it the way that I wanted. And I'm sending this collection out as a card craft kit and I will be back showing you later on in the week showing you everything that's going in the on the go card craft kit but these are the ones that I made using the cottage cuts dies so let me get out here a little whoops wrong way I always do that I don't know why there we go let me open this up for you and then here is, you know, there's three different signatures in here. And so you can see everything. Here is the bookmark that I made. And I laminated it when I laminated this front cover here. So that goes in there. And then here's where I put the back. This is why I bought this die. I thought that it reminded me of the opening to all my videos and so I thought what a neat way to put my signature some kind of signature on the projects that I made and then I just used some Lawn Fawn alphabet stamps and put CPR right there and laminated it on the inside whenever it, I put it through I made sure it was on the inside of the laminate so I made a little pocket travelers notebook it just closes back up like this and then you've got your cute little design here on the front you've got your um, bookmark there to keep your place I love these kind of books I don't use them for planning or anything like that I actually use them to keep track of what I use in my projects so that when I get all my videos, I can tell you guys and not forget everything. So, that's my thinking behind these little books. And so this is, that's it. There's the little Don't Worry, Be Frappy Now. Along with my little CPR on the inside. Here is my Easter card. And then my two 3x3 three three cards. 
and I'm happy to tell you I really love these little dogs. This one is my favorite. I don't know why I like her more, but I just think she is adorable you could actually use him because he's got little paws right there just like these guys just you know cut him in half you know it sounds horrible but it's painless for him and <laughs> you could make another little peeker card like these with him as well i mean like i said the sky is really the limit especially with that guy he can hold anything so there are a lot of options with him i know there are a lot of animal related sentiments out there so super easy for that so many things you can do and i hope that you like this video remember to go to the three videos in the lineup i am the second one janet from sugar shine designs is first and then following me is elaine from max and soji so check out those remember that janet will be putting up a video on March 2nd with the winner for the cottage cuts die that she's giving away all right everybody I hope that you like this video I hope that you were excited about these projects and ready to pull out your Valentine's dies so that you can make your, your upcoming Easter projects and just anything that you can imagine Remember to practice your CPR, craft, pray, repeat. Thanks for visiting me today and happy crafting. Love you all. Bye.